Hello and welcome to The Bigger Deal. I'm Sunny Bindra. This is a new series of podcasts by me, all expanding on the idea that life should be a far bigger deal than most of us make it. Bigger for you and bigger for the world. Too many of us are in fact stuck in a very small deal. A deal in which making a big profit is more important than making a big difference. A deal in which we stampede with the herd rather than leading the charge. A deal in which we earn a living rather than earning a life. Let's kick off with this first session, in which I want you to consider this. There's a mistake that pretty much every business makes at some point in its growth. It's a huge mistake, but it's still made every day. You probably made it in your business long ago, or you are about to make it right now, or you will make it in the months and years to come. So what is this mistake, and why is it so common and so predictable? Consider this first. Have you recently asked a contractor of some sort, a builder, plumber, carpenter, painter, cable guy, to do some work at your house? So how did that work out for you? The chances are pretty high that you met a sweet-talking fellow, paid a deposit, took time off work on the agreed day, and then nothing. No show. Avoids your calls. Calls you days later. Lame excuse. Shows up some day, does a bit, still leaves the work half done, and you completely undone. What is this artisan doing? How many customers is he messing around like this? Quite a few, actually. The ones who make the most noise and threaten the real violence get the work done. The nice, quiet ones like you get it in the neck. It's not just artisans. Highly educated service providers, designers, even lawyers and doctors behave exactly like this. Why should any thoughtful entrepreneur do this? After decades of observing businesses big and small, let me summarize the reasons in two words. Because business folk are too often greedy and too often naive. Entrepreneurs are greedy because they will usually take on too much work and commit to too many jobs or customers. They are naive because they think business volume 